Hi folks, my name is Varun and I am a software engineer at PayPal India offices. By way of these tutorials, I intend to showcase uh, JavaScript concepts that are necessary to learn the language or any other JavaScript frame framework that is out there. Uh, in today's session, we will be looking at two concepts, uh, short circuiting and knowledge uh, coalescing. Both of them are similar. Uh, so you might have might be knowing what is short circuiting if not. So let me explain with an example. What do we mean by short circuiting? So whenever there is a logical operator uh, in case of an OR, we don't uh, calculate, uh, we don't evaluate the operator that is on the left side if we already got a truthful answer because there is no need to uh, evaluate uh, whatever is on the right side. So let me just show an example. For example, if I declare a variable uh, a and mark it as 5 and declare a variable b and mark it as 0. Then if I do console.log a or logical or b and same console.log b logical operator a so what do you think will the output be uh, output will be not be so uh, in first case that is at line number seven uh, a will be evaluated if it returns true then a will be returned if it ret returns false then b will be evaluated we can see the same thing at line number eight b will be evaluated if it returns true then uh, b will be returned if it returns false then a will be evaluated in both cases the answer will be five reason being reason being a got evaluated and return a truthy value these are known as truthy value That is 5. In the second case, B got evaluated. Evaluated and returned a false value. Okay, I returned. That is zero. Hence, our expression evaluates a that will return us five. Turn us five. So that is what short circuiting is. We can simply try it with the chain of shorts, chain of OR operators. So we can simply chain it something like this. So dot log. I can give a false value zero. I can give another false value, not false value, false value null, undefined. nan and then a truthy value that will be let's say 99 and if I run it okay in first case I didn't run it so it gave 5 5 and now if I'm running the this uh, line if line 10 is getting executed then it is returning 99 so that is the basic crux of short circuiting now 
how do we uh, when should we use it uh, in which cases uh, is this concept being used so this is being used mostly to get the default value in case something has not been not been passed or something like that then uh, we get an undefined uh, value in that case so we use it so one of the example that we can use this concept is in getting the uh, default value so let me just define a function um, const uh, return me the number return me the number So let's say it takes a number, number, and it returns that number back. Not only it returns the number back, actually, uh, yeah, it returns the number back, but if the number is not provided, then it will return minus one by default. So how do we implement this? We can simply make it as number. Short circuit, that is or minus one. And we can return it. Now if I run this function, let me remove this first. And let's say if I give it a value two, let's see what it returns. Mm, okay, it is not running. So number, oh, I didn't do the console log. So dot log. Yeah, let's see what it returns. It returns me two, which is expected. Now, if I remove this two and again try to run the code, it will return me one. Why? Why? Because if I do a console.log here, If I do a console.log here and if I try to run it, it is saying number is undefined. So number is undefined, that means it's a falsy value. Falsy value or with minus one, it will return minus one. It is evaluating the second expression in the chain. It is not short circuiting. If I give two, then it will short circuit. It will short circuit and it will not evaluate this specific expression that is minus one. So that is so far so good. But when the problem will come? So problem will come when I try to give a falsy value, which is actually not false. Falsy values are not false. They are treated as false. Example, falsy value examples are, let me write it down. zero an empty string and nan not and nan but uh, there is null and uh, there is uh, undefined now 
now because zero is still there or some function might be taking uh, an empty string that is also a falsy value some function might even get a nan which might not be a false value but it's treated as a falsy value so in that case my answer will be incorrect so let me just try it uh, run it once again As you can see, number is zero, but it is still returning me as uh, oh, minus one. Reason: zero is getting evaluated. Uh, it is not getting short circuit, and minus one is then also getting evaluated, and it is returning minus one. How do we overcome this limitation? So in JavaScript, we have a uh, nullish uh, coalescing. Uh, concept so what it states is we uh, there is an operator we can use that to actually eliminate these three falsy values so in that operator only if null and undefined are there then only it will move towards the next expression else it will simply return whatever is there so zero uh, empty string and nan is not treated as falsy values in that case what is the nullish coalition uh, coalescing operator it is double question mark so let me just write it down if i do this put in an identifier instead of uh, okay let me just try to run it yep it is working fine so what happened here <clears throat> i am giving it a zero just a second so yes yeah, so what happened here is just a second let me just write it down so that it's easy to understand going forward I gave it a zero. Zero got evaluated correctly. It is not treated as a falsy value, and it is returned back uh, without getting uh, without minus one getting evaluated. Now, what if I don't give it any value? Then in that case, number is undefined. Undefined is treated as a falsy value, and we are returned. Uh, we have to evaluate minus one. And hence minus one is uh, getting returned back. So that uh, uh, that can be changed uh, changed uh, further in the code as well. So just like we did it for our operator. So let me just give it an example, or simply make this remove. Yeah. So console.log, let's say I can do it uh, uh, null, undefined, um, zero, empty string, nan, And let's say, let me give you a number 75. And if I do the same for normal or operator, let's see what will be the result and let's try to comprehend what will be happening yep so as you can see null gave a falsy value undefined gave a falsy value hence zero got evaluated as a truth value and uh, it got returned 
in the second case that is at line number 11 null returned a falsy value undefined result uh, returned a falsy value zero returned a falsy value empty string returned a falsy value nan returned a falsy value but 75 returned a truth value and hence it got evaluated so yeah that is a uh, part of short circuiting and uh, you can use or operator but uh, uh, Beware that uh, these three values will also uh, can give side effects in functions that unintended side effects in functions or any other place that you intend to use this. But nullish uh, coalescing will not. So yeah, that is the today's concept. I hope this is helpful for you. I'll also be linking a link in description that you can uh, use to uh, use and read more about this uh, specific operator. Yep, thanks.